For the first time, the Oneida County Executive announcing multiple county employees testing positive for COVID-19. This comes as fi uh, 15 new cases total in the county are reported. That brings the total to 775 and six fatalities being reported from this weekend as well, with five of those in nursing homes. Our Jen Selig has more on what was said during the county executive's briefing today. 332 active cases in Oneida County, with the hospitalization rate going up just a little bit. 27 are hospitalized in Oneida County, and six are admitted outside of the county. Since Pacenti declared a state of emergency for Oneida County back on March 13th, today he announced a small number of county employees have tested positive to coronavirus. Well, Oneida County has uh, uh, 1,700 employees when you add in various part-time employees as well. All, uh, all of them are essential. I, I hope all not. of them have been working in a variety of ways uh, since this state of emergency and crisis began. He says four employees tested positive, all from different divisions. And some that went for testing as we offered it, as we as we offered it up, as I said over the last uh, couple of weeks before, you know, I mean, and were asymptomatic, and so, you know, that's that's an interesting piece here. Over the time, taking extra precautions, the county had made changes as to how business and work gets done. Modified how we deal with the public. We limited access to our building. We created new educational signage throughout. Uh, we made the public sign in in all aspects of, of services that were uh, that had remained open uh, regarding essential services and emergencies that needed to be dealt with. He stated today that all county employees are mandated to get tested. And incidentally, today I've issued executive order in. Uh, in county government that uh, requires every employee to wear a mask at all times uh, during their workday, and all county employees are mandated to go and get a diagnostic test. Uh, we're making progress. We have a ways to go. It's up to us to continue uh, to be disciplined as best we can, understanding that um, it's going to be difficult, but we'll get there. Reporting Jen Selig, Eyewitness News.